Hi, everybody. Uh, Mark Kashevsky, your friendly bioethics guy here, and I want to um, here to congratulate you. I got my tux out of the closet, um, and I've never been good at tying a bow tie, so I have the classic um, uh, long silk tie today. Um, I'm sorry I can't be with you at your party on Tuesday. Um, I have a conflicting Zoom meeting because that's what we do now. We go from one Zoom meeting to another, as I'm sure you're also doing. Um, but I just wanted to say a couple words, um, uh, somewhat seriously to you as well. Um, you know, in, in the bioethics course, we had some great discussions together. We talked a lot about your hopes and your aspirations for what kind of physician you want to be and what it means to be a physician, to be a real service. And so I'm sorry that um, things are kind of a damper on that right now, that you're not getting the traditional graduation with the cap and gowns here right now this week. Um, but it's also an opportunity to reflect. So I hope it's okay if I just say a couple of serious words to you. Um, you know, it's not just raining on your parade. Um, you're being asked, as we all are, to stay home right now to try to save lives. And so it is kind of a reflection on what it means to be of service to people. Um, you know, and we're hoping that you're able to go on and uh, go to med school and residency, and many of you will, and become great physicians and be of service to humanity in that way. Even for those people, though, um, right now it's a time of reflection and thinking about what being of service means. You know, there, there are folks working in the ICUs, and I hear them talking every day about what does it mean? Uh, what's the most meaningful thing in their day? Is it trying to get the vent settings right and losing the patient anyway, or is it holding the phone next to that patient's lips to hear them say they love a loved one and that loved one to say their goodbyes is the because the loved ones can't be in the hospital right now because of the spread of the infection. And so th this whole time is a, a chance to reflect on what it means to be of service. And that will be going on for you for the next couple of years. You know, uh, in the fall, as some of you entering medical school um, may be asked to stay home or stay in your apartment and work online, and you may be cheated out of that uh, in-person orientation and the chance to have a big white coat ceremony. But again, it's, it's really in an effort to try to do what's essential to save lives. And so you're saving lives when you do those kinds of things. Um, Many of you will be great physicians, and I believe that. Some of you won't go down the medicine path. Some of you will go into other things. And this is a time to think about all the ways that people are of service and the worth and the dignity of all that work. Right now, while some of us are at home because we're non-essential workers, there are the people who are the essential workers of their jobs, and we're finding out who those people are. They're in the grocery stores. They're running the transportation systems. They're, they're cleaning the, uh, the stores and, and the, uh, the public spaces so that they're free of viruses. And so we're, we're really starting to get an eye opener of who puts themselves on the line every day, who's the essential worker, what the worth of that is. And they're not paid like physicians. And so physicians are paid in a way that is commensurate with the, the, the worth they, they have, the, the value they contribute to society. So many are not. And so no matter what, you do, what happens to you in the future, if you go to medical schools, I hope so many of you do. I'm really looking forward to seeing, I know I'll see a few of you here at Stritch in the coming years. But if you do something else, if you go down another healthcare path, or if you go into some other kind of work, the key thing is to think about how you can serve your fellow human being. I think that's the kind of people you all are. That's why you're in this program. And, and don't lose sight of that, because it's going to be so easy to lose sight of it, because this is where it's going to wear us all down. This is going to wear you down. The, the immediate future of your dreams isn't going to look like you had hoped it would look, like you pictured it. But for the rest of your career, you won't have just a cap and a gown or things like that to look back on as um, commemorating these moments. You'll remember you were the people who came through the COVID-19 pandemic and learned about what really matters, what really counts. And so I have great faith in you. I hope I get to see a lot of that. I hope I get to see many of you in, in those career paths. But if not, as, the, as St. Ignatius Loyola said, go forth and set the world on fire. God bless. Here's to you.